Hello dear traders, my name is Olivia Kendall, I'm personal manager at NS Broker and today we have a webinar, the topic of our webinar is indices trading. So you know that NS Broker provides the range of different assets, um, indices are the part of our providing assets and I'm going to talk about it. So today we try to comprise some subtopic as how to set a budget for your indices trading. Another what I'd like to discuss with you um, understanding market correlation yeah what kind of reasons um, just rule and run the indices price um, how different uh, fundamental analysis fundamental news just impact the US indices especially and there are a lot of other indices so um, let's just switch to our platform as you see, NS Broker provides um, to trade with the S&P 500 as uh, one of the most favorite and uh, famous indices. Yeah, um, US 100, it's NASDAQ, Germany 30, it's a German index, WS 30, the name of it is Dow Jones, Australian, uh, French index, uh, Japanese index, and of course, Great Britain index. So all of these assets are available to trade so you may trade with it and um, yeah to start with the understanding what means actually indices so you know that um, stock market indexes yeah um, it's a really powerful indicator for global economies yeah and um, indexes can be constructed in a wide variety of ways but they are commonly identified generally by capitalization and sector segregation so, I mean that S&P 500, US 100, what is NASDAQ, it's a great reflection of current situation on financial market. So, you need to understand what means S&P 500. For example, yeah, you know that 500 means actually how many companies belong to that indexes. And, of course, accordingly, S&P 500 represents almost 80% of total value of the US stock market and it gives a good indication of movement in the US market as a whole. So you understand that S&P 500 index is a market weight index and therefore every stock in the index is represented in proportion to its total market capitalization so in another words yeah um if the total market value of all 500 companies in s p 500 drops by 10 percent the value of index does the same yeah the value of that index s p 500 will drop okay so the most important is comprehension of what means indexes, yeah? And um, accordingly, you need to understand what actually is the correlation. Because we know that everything um, is intercorrelated, yeah? There is relation between currency and, for example, indices. That I would like to discuss. And of course, I'd like to explain you. So the first and I think the most obvious is that U.S. stock market, yeah, shares market influences stocks, yeah, influences actually index, stocks index, and um, you just may find in internet what kind of companies belong to S and P five hundred and Dow Jones, and that's how you may follow the performance of different U.S. stock. Mm, shares yeah and you may understand what is the mm, general sentiment of investors so let it say if we know that apple performance great and the performance of um recently we had a great jump from alibaba if you have already seen yeah it was such kind of um dramatical jump so of course it influences indices as well so basically the performance of stocks impact their 
value and movement price movement on um, US indices uh, market so and of course another important fact uh, is that actually the correlation between national currency to indices is uh, crucial yeah it's important for us as a trader because you understand I will even give you a great example here so uh, for example your USD yeah we have it on daily chart and we understand that US dollar is under pressure from the yeah actually the beginning of the April yeah so that influences the S&P 500 growth yeah so we see that US dollar because we have your US dollar pair yeah US dollar was under pressure and accordingly it influenced S&P 500 it rose up yeah in longer perspectives it always rises but especially from the beginning of this month yeah it was I would say drastical upward trend so another fact that you need to pay attention to is just correlation between currency national currency and indices for example when we have Germany 30 yeah Germany 30 here we are right now it's a sideways motion here um, actually this price decline was because of euro strength and we see that yeah it just visible it's just visible with the help of chart using so the most important is how you read the charts so every day i advise my traders to improve chart reading skills and that's how you master the trading so let's continue to discuss um, indices trading and of course you understand that basically indices are essentially basket of individual stocks there are a number of important market correlation uh, between indices and um, between indices prices and actually um, market yeah and moreover we need to understand I have already actually mentioned that uh, performance of certain companies yeah like uh, data release or declaration of CEO for example we know that when Elon Musk declared something about Tesla that uh, it was overheated or the price is too high for Tesla Tesla dropped down of course it impacted S&P 500 as well because recently Tesla um, yeah just joined S&P 500 as an indices so we need to understand actually different factors as a company's financials leadership and um, net income and net annual income and of course um, we need to understand what is the uh, sentiment of investors so moreover I'd like to pay your attention to um, risk management because trading with uh, different indices doesn't matter whether you pick up S&P 500 or Dow Jones or Germany 30 so you need always understand how much you're going to invest to open one position so um, of course it's not a secret about trading indices but still following risk management you just uh, stay safe and you understand how to um, to manage your management your risk management so um, S&P 500 pressing on um, right click with the right click we see here a specification and you understand that uh, one lot includes 100 contracts at the same time mm, Dow Jones yeah we have here only one so one lot equal is equal to uh, one contract so of course the price d the prices differ from each other S&P 500 costs 4139 and Dow Jones almost 34,000 so of course the leverage is the same but b um 
be aware of what you're going to purchase with what assets you're going to trade and um here paying attention to a uh, japanese stock just pay attention to um its price of course the price is um in japanese yen okay so um yeah and the last that i like to emphasize um even if you trade with s p 500 or dow jones be aware of sustaining fluctuations sometimes it seems obvious yeah and apparently um it's very it goes without saying that all traders need to sustain fluctuations but when it comes to us indices trading the daily price change is more than 100 to 200 when market is very volatile it's more than 200 like of course sometimes it seems stable and the price difference is only 20 or 30 dollars but still we remember that trading on forex you um, represent as the traders but trading with indices with us stocks you may um comprehend that you are like investors because you invest to um indices yeah and indices usually all indices comprises a lot of companies and it's a great reflection of current condition so be aware of calculation of correlation that national uh, currency and uh, actually the performance of shares u.s stock market very important for u.s indices trading and moreover just follow your risk management so um i think that it was enough for today just discuss with your personal manager what is attractive to trade today and good luck with trading take care